Hello everyone, my name is Andrian. Together with my other two colleagues, Kartika and Ginta, we are representing Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands to compete in the 10th IOM Supply Chain and Logistics Case Competition 2020. We would like to use this opportunity to address a very interesting issue concerning digital supply chain for dairy producer in Indonesia. It started without concerns towards the fact that the Indonesian dairy products consumption is the lowest in Southeast Asia, behind the neighboring countries such as Vietnam and Thailand. Nonetheless, the market for cold chain products such as fresh milk and yogurts will grow due to increasing income, population and urbanization. Therefore, as one of the local dairy producer, Chimora aims to seize the dairy market yet encountered several issues. The first issue is the demand for steady supply and quality raw milk from milk farmers. The retail price is also too expensive, where the retail price in supermarkets is 3.75 more expensive compared to the raw milk price bought from the farmer. This is, this is mainly due to high collection and transportation costs of the dairy products. From our point of view, Digital supply chain may offer solutions for improving multiple supply chain aspects within Chimora and related stakeholders, not only limited to cost, but on also in more broader sense to become faster, more flexible, more accurate, and more efficient. The purpose of this study is to provide a strategic plan to transform Chimora supply chain by incorporating technology and digital initiatives and highlight the impacts of such transformation. Chimora has a vision to serve all Indonesian people. To realize that, implementing the digital supply chain will be beneficial for the company. We use digital maturity assessment from FutureGov to determine digital ambition level. Currently, Chimora is in level 2 where it already digitized several aspects. However, some documents are still offline. The company can set digital ambition level to level 4, that is to implement digitization for service information. This level is the most visible one considered during that there are many traditional stakeholders involved, so it is better to still keep a room for manual process. We made a roadmap for the company to go to level 4 from the current level within 3 years. In year 1, the company will be still in level 2, but it can increase the utilization of the website to share information. In year 2, the company will go to level 3 by investing in digital tools to improve existing service and daily operations and also make close coordination with other stakeholders. In year 3, the company will move to level 4 by investing in more advanced digital tools that allow service information and also still make close coordination with other stakeholders. Data is the key enabler in performing digitization and it will be supported by digital technologies. Collaboration is needed between every actor because it will be beneficial to share data for mutual benefits. In this digital era, the company needs to rethink of their current traditional business process in order to survive in the market. Since investment in new technologies can be very expensive, cost is one of the main barriers. Chimora can be categorized as a conventional company with traditional culture and stakeholders, which make it more difficult to adapt to new technology. Skills, knowledge, and talent management are really important because once the data and technologies are available, human resources are needed to make use of them. Maintaining communication and collaboration to all stakeholders can be very challenging due to differences in interests, goals, and cultures. The milk supply is produced by both small-scale dairy farmers and big-scale dairy farmers. From small-scale dairy farmers, the milk will be distributed to the dairy farmers group, then the milk will go to village cooperatives, then to overall dairy cooperatives, and then to Chimora processing plant. After that, the products will be distributed to wholesalers and retailers, then the product will be bought by the customers. By implementing a digital supply chain, communication between all stakeholders will be easier as it will enable real-time data sharing through digital platforms. However, it cannot be applied for the whole supply chain network because the company is also supplied by traditional local small-scale dairy farmers, so manual process is still needed. In order to achieve the highest level of digital transformation, Ideally, the whole system should be digitized. The challenge, in this case of Chimora, lies within the traditional business process which involves less digitally savvy actors to transform the business process. 
To tackle this problem, there are only two ways to improve the Chimora's business process. First, by optimizing the current digital capabilities to solve more problems, and second, by training and empowering the actors to change the way they work. In this case, uh, the whole upstream collaborators of Chimora is not yet used to working with digital data, while the whole downstream partners are connected through enterprise resource planning, data interchange. Chimora, as one of the leaders in Indonesian dairy industry, has the advantage to leverage its power structure to transform its upstream supply chain. Now, let us evaluate the tools that we can use to transform the digital supply chain of Chimura. We made a forecast of the demands specifically for people in Java aged 10 till 50 years old with high and middle class economic status as this group is more likely to consume milk and other dairy products. The production capacity of the company is 20,000 liters milk per day and we predict the demands based on this production capacity. Then we make assumed data of the demands in liters. We used exponential smoothing method with the alpha of 0.8 and from the calculation, the forecast accuracy is 74.5% and the mean absolute percentage error is 25.5%. We also propose that Chimora shifts in analog invoices and purchase order transactions with their upstream suppliers towards mobile phones. The facility of 4G network mobile app could be utilized as a procurement network and supplier management tools to trace back all transactions up to tier 2 supplier or small farmers. This app requires little investment from Chimora and little training for its users. 4G network app is also much less expensive than its alternative standalone automated milk collection units or AMCUs, which bigger dairy companies use, for example in the Netherlands with more tech savvy farmers. Through sensors and barcode, Chimura will get a granular data that is suitable for different types of analysis aimed to improve Chimura's business process and supply chains. We propose to target this available data to users from different backgrounds. It can be farmers, buyers, retailers, and outside consultants. Therefore, a data warehouse server will be needed to store and access all the relevant data collected through various means. The SQL alternative of data warehouse, which is also a database knowledge point, should be avoided in this case due to the complex query and code that might not be suitable for all users. Using data warehouse, users from various backgrounds in the chain may not only record access, but also clean the inaccuracies, irrelevances, and convert the data to their own company's format. The data warehouse is a basis for business intelligence reports where users can compare data and measure their performances. Currently, the safety stocks of Chimura are still based on inadequate model with uncertain input. There is also no clear distinction in the importance of stock keeping units. Since dairy highly depend on the refrigerated environment and has short life, Chimura spent a high cost of obsolence every year from damaged milk. To better integrate inventory management with the dynamics of demands and also to reduce all these costs, we propose to consider adopting continuous replenishment strategy for raw material stocks and vendor-managed inventory for finished goods. With the CR strategy, the buyers in Chimura can get a better safety stock model which allows them to buy additional milk from farmers based on their insight to prevent stockouts. And with the vendor-managed strategy, Chimura, uh, through ERP interface, will have a better calculation based on the demand communicated by retailers. The supply chain and logistics network of Chimura started from small-scale farmer groups where the raw milk is collected in local cooperatives before sent to the dairy factory. There are also large-scale farmers that deliver their milk directly to the factory. The raw milk are, common, are commonly transported using trucks with cooling tanks in bulk. The raw milk is also further processed into several products, then shipped to convenience stores, Chimura-owned stores, to general trade markets and to wholesalers before shipped further to retail stores such as supermarkets. 
In order to improve Chimura supply chain and logistics network, digital in initiatives are introduced. Since we apply a lean and agile or legal concept, the decoupling point is located in the dairy factory. That means upstream chain before the dairy factory should apply lean principle, while the downstream chain are more focused in agile principle to, in order to meet fluctuating demands while keeping the products fresh. Predictive push and pull system uses the data from the milking equipment until the point of sales in the supermarkets to sense the changing demands and production, so then the ter transportation and distribution can be adjusted in real time. To ensure the traceability of the products, end-to-end -end product tracking is used in any case of defects and contamination. Dynamic routing and route optimization are proposed to help the company truck drivers and to find the most efficient routing for collecting and distributing the products. Linear programming combined with machine learning is also applied in this subject to avoid detours and congestions. With the uberization of trucks, any truck company can participate in the distribution process as long as they are competitive and they are available. The data pattern from the truck can be analyzed to formulate the actual transport costs with a bottom-up approach. If there's a disruption within the logistics network, the system should be able to perform self-healing mechanism. In this case, if one of the truck fails to carry out their task, another truck should be able to replace it in a matter of an hour and rec reconnect the, net the network. We have established the key metrics as shown for the supply chain network with the expected impacts of reduced total lead time, improved overall efficiency, increased supply chain flexibility, improved delivery reliability, and reduced the total logistic costs. The digital initiatives proposed for the supply chain for, of Chimura will be analyzed using DuPont analysis. The forecasting accuracy improves by 10%. The procurement savings improved by 10%. Manufacturing excellence lowered the operating costs by 7%. Warehousing initiatives and inventory initiatives reduced by 50%, transportation costs decreased by 17%, and IT system simplifies the processes which reduce 5% of administration costs. The impact of the digital in initiatives conducted by Chimora will be taken into account into their financial account of Chimora. The, the savings on inventory is approximately 55%. The current assets are reduced by 23.1%. Operating expenses are reduced significantly by 28.7%. Earnings before tax and interests improved by 208.1% due to the efficiency made by these initiatives. Return on investment has significantly improved by 24%. So the technical roadmap that can be done by the company will be divided into three waves. The first wave will be done in year one, second wave will be done in year two, and the third wave will be done in year three. For wave one, the initiatives will be done to improve procurement and warehousing inventory using 4G network, mobile app, and VMI. For wave two, the initiatives will be on forecasting and manufacturing using POS data analytics and sensors in installation. For Wave 3, the initiatives will be done for transportation and IT using e 2 e tracking and route optimization and also data warehouse. Now, what can we take away from this study? Chimura, as one of the local dairy producers, is facing challenges to compete in the future market. The challenges include the high collection and transportation costs, also supply variability. The digital initiatives are applied throughout multiple functions along the chain in the hope of improving the company's financial performance. From the attempts to incorporate trends technology to the chain, return of inv investment has significantly improved by 24%, which emphasizes the significance of digitization in the supply chain. The initiatives are spread out into a three-year program, which the first year focuses on the procurement and warehousing inventory functions followed by boosting forecasting and procurement functions in the second year, and completed with optimization transportation and enhancement on ID systems in the third year. Thank you very much for your attention. 
We wish that you have a handful insight from this study.